Noxian's team and user management is self-directed, making it easy to add users and grant access on the fly right in app without the roadblocks and red tape. It's also more secure, as you know who everyone is and what permissions they should have. All of this is done from the Manage Teams panel. Access the Manage Teams panel by opening Show Participants in the Folders More Action menu or by clicking the Details panel on the desktop with the folder selected. It's also possible to access the Manage Teams panel from inside the folder itself, from the person-shaped icon in the left sidebar. In Manage Teams, you'll find five different columns that help add, organize, or assign access to contacts in different ways. The Contacts column, the Teams column, the Production and Folder Selector, the Participants column, and Participant Details. Let's start with the Contacts column. The Contacts column is where you can add new contacts without designating any sort of access or permission set. If you just need to add one or two people, you can add them from the New Contact button. Otherwise, upload a list in batch using a CSV with the format of first name, last name, and email. When you add people to the Contacts column, you are just adding their info, not assigning permissions or access in any way. Think of it how you might add contacts to an address book. From the Teams panel, assemble contacts into different organizational groups. Teams can be used to group contacts into distribution lists if you want to send a play link to a large number of viewers without giving them folder access. Or they can be shortcuts to grouping a permission set together, like if you want to make sure certain members of the editorial team have an upload or share permission anytime they're added to a folder, or your post-production supervisors and coordinators always have an admin permission set. To create a team, click New Team and give it a name. We recommend creating a name that says whether or not it's a distribution list for reviewing content, like Daily's viewers, or a shortcut to a permission set, like Upload or Share. Depending on your admin level, you can choose if it will be available across the production or the whole company. If it's available at the production level, the team can be added to any folder within a production. If it's at the company level, the team can be added to any production or folder within the company account. To add someone to a team, click on their user card under the contacts column, then select the plus sign on the team card. This action only adds a contact to a team and does not assign a permission set. To assign permissions, click on the team so it's highlighted to view all the members. Click on each individual user and set their permission in the Teams column. This locks that contact's permission with that team, so anytime that team is added to a folder, that permission level is locked in. To understand more about permission levels and what they enable contacts to do, we have a permission matrix in our Help Center. If you need to add lots of contacts to a group, like you're creating a distribution list for screeners, dailies distribution, or putting together a real-time review session, you can use a CSV upload to assign bulk contacts to a team. This does not assign a permission set beyond viewer and only groups the contacts together. Assigning contacts to a team does not inherently designate access to a production or folder. In order to give a contact access to a production or folder, they either need to be assigned to the folder directly or a team they belong to needs to be assigned to a folder or across the production as a whole. To assign someone directly to a folder, which is easy for granting one-off access to a single individual, click on their user card in the Contacts column and select the folder in the middle column or the Production and Folder selector. With the folder selected, you will be able to see all current participants in that folder and what teams have been added. Click Assign Contact to add the contact to the folder. Now you'll see them in the Folder Participants column. Adding a team to a production or folder adds all assigned team members to that production or folder and any subfolders underneath. To add a team to a production or folder, first select the production or folder you'd like to add them to. Remember, adding a team to a production enables access to all folders and subfolders within the production, so only add contacts and teams to the production level if they need a high degree of access. Selecting production shows all the current participants and teams added to the production. With the production or folder highlighted, click Assign Team to give everyone access to that production or folder. The Participant Details column is all about checking your work. 
By selecting Production or Folder in the Production and Folder selector, you can see what contacts and teams have been added across the production as a whole or within the individual folder. Click on the individual participant card to see what permission level each participant has across all teams in the folder. The highest level of access wins. We recommend treating your first folder like a contact panel for the whole production by setting up all your contacts and teams under Show Participants in your first folder, even if you're only granting access to that folder to some contacts. That way, adding contacts to future folders is a breeze as you've already added contacts, created teams, and assigned permissions within those teams, you simply need to assign them to other folders across the production. And that's how you manage teams, grant folder access, and manage permissions in Moxian.